Julie Beavers is a trauma chaplain from Sacramento. She usually works with firefighters and their families if they're experiencing a crisis. We're first responders to first responders. Now Julie is in New York, part of a contingent from the 1033 Foundation, providing crisis support for frontline health care workers treating COVID-19 patients. We hit the ground running. We definitely hit the ground running. It has been um, nonstop. Nonstop emotional and spiritual care for the health care workers who've seen so much. Nobody can be prepared for what is happening here in New York City right now. You know, a lot of people are saying media is hyping up the reality of the situation. And I am here to tell you that the reality of the situation is as bad as you can, more than you can ever imagine. Um, what the nurses are, are up against here in trying to care for people. Julie and her team are stationed at a hotel where the healthcare workers are staying, checking in with them before they head off for the day. I have asked people every single day, my question is, I'm asking them why they're here. And I need them to know their deep why, because that is going to carry them through the darkness. And so many of them, they were compelled to be here. They said, I'm good at what I do and I can help. And lending counsel when those same workers come back from grueling shifts on the front lines. The reality is, is that people here are dying and that they are at a stage that nothing can be done for them. The healthcare workers she's dealing with there for patients in their final hours. They just come alongside them as humans and they walk them home. They are not letting them die alone. Those healthcare workers, Julie and her team, all experiencing the crisis in different ways. Forever changed from the, from the moment I landed in New York City, um, forever changed. None of us will ever come back home the way we left but all rising to the challenge. That that's an option for them, right? So I'm planting the seed that this doesn't have to be a, an, an injury to you. This doesn't have to be an injury to your brain and your heart, that you can actually grow stronger from this. Yes, my goal is post-traumatic growth, right? Post-traumatic growth. So we have an opportunity to grow from really hard things. In Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. And the 1033 Foundation team signed up for at least a three-week commitment to serve on their mission supporting frontline health care workers. Once they return to California, they will each need to quarantine for 14 days.